welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you some shoes that i have collected over the years that i've been interested in j fashion and such so we're starting right off with my first pair and these are from taobao most of my shoes are from taobao if you have seen my lookbooks you have seen this pair of shoes maybe two times already maybe more i really like them, they are so versatile. These pair of shoes I actually wore to my graduation, prom, and yeah, I have some nice memories with them. But the heel is actually quite high, so I find it a little bit hard to walk in them. Also, they are a tad bit too big on me, actually, but... Uh, they are so cute. Next up, this is my one of my favorite pairs. I mean, all of them are my favorite pairs. But this purple pair is from Angelic Imprint. And that is one of my favorite Taobao brands for Lolita shoes. And I really like how chunky they are and that they have a little bit of platform. So that the heel isn't too high and that actually makes it really easy to walk in and for some reason they actually have a bow on the inside of the shoes as well which is a little annoying when walking and these oh my god i think this is my oldest pair of shoes and my worst fitting pairs of shoes you can see that they are broke in several places all the straps have been detached because I have walked in them a lot and they are quite big and chunky and really hard to walk in for me at least and since they are so broke I'm actually thinking of throwing them away. Now this is probably my most versatile pair of shoes. They're actually a light lilac purple color. And they are so easy to walk in because the heel is so small and oh my god, my fucking backdrop? What the fuck? Yeah, the shoes are cute at least. It's also angelic imprint. They have these kind of iconic double straps that you see a lot of the shoes have. And yeah, probably my most worn shoe. Now these are my red shoes and they are really close to the ground and not that comfortable to walk in because of this. They are kind of like ballet shoes but they have a little heel but they still are really cute. I love the cross strappy detail on the front. So adorable. I just wish they had some sort of platform. And these are also again a random pair of Taobao shoes. These are blue and have three bows on each shoe. Really cute, I love bows. And now these shoes really fit me like a glove. Like they are hugging my small Asian feet like socks. You know, they sit so good on my feet. And fun fact, I actually walked 10,000 steps in these when I was in Stockholm. And these mint pair of shoes are from the same place that those blue shoes were. They fit me really well as well. Yeah, just, just a cute pair of shoes. What else can I say? I found it really hard to get my hands on a pair of mint shoes for some reason. Also those baby blue shoes were really hard to find because, I don't know, they don't really have a lot of these colors but I'm so happy that I found these I think they are the perfect shade of mint even though they look kind of green on camera and these are my only pair of black shoes now the platform on these was what made me buy them like it is ridiculously high I think it's about 8 centimeters platform or more. 
I just love how they are shiny and kind of, you know, this baby doll style of shoe. And yes, they are black. And yes, I only had pastel colors in my wardrobe for seven years. But these black shoes, I love them. And I have nothing that matches them because I don't own black. But I really need to get some black pieces now because these shoes are amazing. And now for my steampunk shoes, or at least they give me that kind of vibe for some reason. I think it's because this cutout on the front, or if it is a cutout, I don't know what it is. It is a really cool design at least. And these have a really high heel, so have to be careful walking in these. You can even see on the front of the shoe that I have tripped in these ones and fallen flat on my face because of yeah, the shoe. I do that a lot actually. I have a lot of bruises on my knees because of this. You might have noticed in my pictures. And for my first pair of white shoes, I adore these shoes. I have used them so 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 much. The strappy details, the chunky platforms. You might notice that I have a thing for platforms. Just a little thing. A small bias towards platforms, especially really high ones. These are just, you know, comfortably high. I wouldn't say they are that high, but they are just perfect for me, I think. Also, you can take the small bows off if you would wish. And these are my second shoes I got for, you know, J Fashion really long time ago and they are tea parties from Antaina and this is a little bit controversial but I personally think that tea parties are ugly yeah I said it they are ugly like have you seen the front of this shoe it is so flat and awkward and there's no platform you're basically walking on the ground and they just look so weird. I don't know why everyone is wearing them because there's so many other types of shoes out there. And now for my one of my weirdest pair of shoes. These are just some random trainers with platform that I found on Taobao. Really high platform. Actually really hard walking. Surprisingly, you wouldn't think that, but it, they have a really, you know, steep heel to them. Which you might not see because, you know, the feet kind of look deformed in this. And another old pair of shoes that I don't use anymore, but I actually used to wear these every day for about a year I think when I had my fairy K phase and they fit me so badly they are way too big for me at least three th sizes too big my feet are just slipping around in these big blocks and I do not understand how I was able to walk in this every fucking day in school just ridiculous and for my everyday pair of Fila distributors. I love these shoes, like they are the most comfortable things I have ever put on my feet and they are just just amazing, you know, actual good shoes of great quality with, you know, great walking shoes for that kind of thing. And for my favorite pairs of shoes, and probably my most expensive shoes, these are my buffalo... Buffalo... I don't know what they called. Buffalo shoes? Is that what they called? I don't know, it's the original design. And they are holographic purple. And these are actually a little too big for me. I gotta be honest, they are a bit big on my feet. But I love them so much, I can't sell them, I will never sell them, I will wear them to death. I will probably be buried in these when I die, 
that's how much I love these. And for my lovely Birkenstocks that I use every day, every moment of the day, and my slightly silly unicorn slippers. Actually pretty hard to walk in because they are so squishy and big, but really cute. And I think they match the pony on my on the decoration dream dress from AP, but I'm not sure. They might be some kind of ripoff or yeah, let's not think about that one. And for my most controversial pairs of shoes, these are from the company whom we will not name. They are a collaboration with YRU that makes really good platforms. And yeah, I think these are probably my highest pairs of shoes that makes me the tallest. And if you know me, I am a small bean and I need my platform. But I will not go on too long about these shoes actually because this is the last pair of shoes. I have so many pairs of shoes. Uh, it's gonna be a pain in the ass to get them with me when I move out. I hope you enjoyed looking at them. And if you like this video, please tell me in the comments and like the video and subscribe to my channel to see more of this in the future. Bye bye.